A graffiti artist from South Africa is on the U.S.-Mexico border spreading a message of peace. He's painted huge portraits of international peace leaders in neighborhoods that have seen some of the worst drug violence. AB Border Reporter Angela Cochega reports from Juarez, Mexico. The freshly painted faces appearing on walls here on the border are the work of a graffiti artist from South Africa known as Gassik. I'm trying to go into those areas that are most haunted by this drug war and this criminal organization and portray my message of peace. He's not showing his face because he wants to focus not on the artist, but on the art project he calls Face the Peace, a series of massive portraits of international peace leaders. This one of Benito Juarez attracted the attention of students on their way to a nearby school. The student said he admires the street artist for helping recognize heroes who promoted peace. Gasic chose to spread that message in some of Juarez's roughest neighborhoods. Because the night before I came here to paint, um, that one block down here was a body found up, found cut up and left in a bin. But he kept painting. Gandhi's face now overlooks an empty lot in that crime-ridden neighborhood. Gasek has finished his work here in Juarez. Now he's searching for walls to paint across the border in El Paso. The goal, a total of eight faces, half here in Mexico, half in the U.S., that together will form the shape of a heart that spans the border. So far, he's had a harder time getting permission to paint walls on the U.S. side of the border. But he did get the okay to turn this old delivery truck into a canvas. Much to the delight of the owner's grandson. An international peace leader. Is that cool? The artist hopes these images... Colors blended in, so it actually does look like uh, the Dalai Lama. ...will inspire others to work for peace, along a stretch of border just beginning to recover after years of drug violence.